A special prayer that you would keep our children lifted up in prayer. When this thing started more than two years ago, it was being communicated that it wasn't being transmitted through our children. But now science has changed and COVID is ramping through our through the hallways of our children's schools. So let's continue to keep them prayed up and covered in the blood of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Our scripture for this morning will come from the hundredth and forty-sixth Psalm. Where our writer pins these words. Praise ye the Lord. Praise the Lord. Oh my soul. While I live. Will I praise the Lord. I will sing praises. Unto my God. While I have. My being. Put not your trust in princes. Nor in the Son of Man, in whom there is no help. His breath going forward, he returned to his earth. In that very day, his thoughts perished. Happy is he that hath the Lord, the God of Jacob, for his help, whose hope is in the Lord, his God. Simply this morning, the writer encourages us to trust in the Lord. Now I know that we have many people, places, things that we can put our trust in. But the sure way to know that it will be all and well done is that we put our trust in God. We can put our trust in man, but the word says that man, his breath go forth, and in that same day, he perishes. But blessed to be the man who put his trust in the God of Jacob. Simply put this morning, where do you put your trust? God bless you.
hang on in there. When all is lost, hang on in there. Church is offering time. It's now time to give back a part of that which is God has given to you. Oh, yeah. It's not a low mark in our worship, but a high mark. As our urchins prepare to come.
feels so good, and I know it's prayer time, but it feels so good to see young people having fun serving the Lord. We have folks singing who a few years ago it was hard to get them to even to speak. So it's good to see that they are coming into their own. And they're doing it here in the house of the Lord. As we prepare our hearts to petition the throne of grace and mercy, Continue to pray for Reverend Milton Nash. Also pray for Sister Linda, her son, and her sister Jackie. So continue to keep them all in your prayers. And the Hall family sends their thanks to the Galilee Church family. Amen? Amen. So now we will pray with Reverend Barlow. May we just bow. Eternal Heavenly Father, we come now, God, just say thank you. Thank you for being who you are. Thank you for dying on the cross. Thank you for saving a soul like ours. God, we just thank you. Thank you, God, because when we look at things, it could have been worse, God, so we just say thank you. Thank you, God, because you are amazing. You are awesome. You are magnificent. You are a true and living God, so God, we say thank you. Thank you, God. You are our Alpha and Omega, God. We say thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, God. Father God, we know that many have gone by, oh God, but we just say thank you, God, because you are still in control. God, we love you, God, because you're so amazing. God, you have done so much for us, oh God, and we just say thank you, God. We can't say no more than just thank you. God, we come to you asking you for uh, picking us up when we're down. We can come to you, God, and say, God, just lift us up, God, when we're when our heads are being turned to the right or the left, God. But we just want to just take this time out and just say, thank you. Thank you, God, because this is the year 2020 and 22, God. So we just thank you. God, because we know when COVID hit in 2020, God, we didn't know we were making this far, but God was just say, thank you. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. When we go back and look at Black Lives Matter, oh God, we just want to say thank you, God. God, because when we, when we look, God, it's many that are dying on the wayside, God, because of straight bullets, but God, we just want to say, God, take this time out and say thank you, God. Thank you for covering us, God. Thank you for keeping us, God. Thank you for keeping us in our right mind, God, where many are losing their minds right now. God, we want to say thank you. Thank you, oh God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you for being that Alpha and Omega. Thank you for being Jehovah Jireh. Thank you, God. Thank you. God, we give you all the praise for who you are, oh God. God, we know that uh, right now we're looking at the, at, at the times right now, but God, we just want to spend this time right now and say thank you. Jesus, right now, we ask that you cover uh, uh, the man that's going to break the bread of life this morning, oh God. We pray, oh God, that you keep him covered. Uh, give him power, preaching power right now from the crown of his head to the sole of his feet, oh God. Be able to allow him to preach like he never preached before right now. God, we just say, 
cover him right now, God. Cover our pastor right now, God, as he has left, oh God, uh, to go to, to go to uh, 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 to do a service, oh God, of the friend of lives of uh, one of our brothers, oh God. We ask for that you cover him, oh God. Give him the strength to stand, oh God, at this time right now, God. Cover his family right now, God. Cover our church family right now, God. Keep us right now, God. God, there's nobody else greater than you, oh God. We give you all the praise and give you all the glory, God. All the best we ask you in God's Son, in Jesus' name, we do pray. Amen. Amen. Amen.
the reason why Paul was having trials and tribulations. The reason why he was having so many trials because he was busy doing something for the Lord. Spiritual welfare comes to those who are, or are busy on the battlefield for the Lord. Because when, when lives start changing, Satan get mad. When alcoholics throw away their balls, when drug addicts put down their pipes and quit smoking blunts, when husbands quit beating their wives, when people get off of Facebook and get into the good book, right. spiritual welfare starts and Satan get mad. Trials start Paul gives us instructions on how to handle our trials. And the first thing Paul says that we need to do is have the right perspective. In other words, you can't look at your trials and tribulations in a physical point of view. You have to look at it in a spiritual point of view. The physical point of view, you focus on the here and now. But the spiritual point of view, you focus on the then and there. Romans 18 reminds us, yet yeah, we suffer now is nothing compared to the glory we will receive later. Paul reveals to us it's all a matter of perspective. Because in the midst of whatever you're going through, you have to realize that God is still on the throne. He still has the world in his hand. And that God still is a way maker. 1 Corinthians 10 and 13 says, There has no temptation taken us, taken you, but such as coming to man. But God is faithful, who will not suffer you to be tempted above all that you are able, but will with the temptation also make a way to escape that you may be able to bear. And when you have the right perspective, you're able to give God some praises in the midst of whatever you're going through. You're able to count it all joy because it's not you are going through, it's not what you're going through, but it's the good, it's the God you serve who will help you overcome any problems, any trials, any tribulations that you're going through. Isn't that good news? That we, if we have the right perspective, we can go to God. Take all our trials and tribulations to him. Yeah. Romans 5, verse 3 through 5 says, Not only that, but we rejoice in our suffering, knowing that the suffering produces endurance, and endurance produces character, and character produces hope, and hope does not put us to shame, because God, love, God loves has been poured into our heart through the Holy Spirit, who has been given to us. Look at your neighbor and tell them you have to have the right perspective. You have to have the right perspective. Not only do you have to have the right perspective, but you have to realize that God has a purpose for allowing you to go through your trials. Verse 28 says, and we know that all things work together for good to them that love God, to them who are called according to his purpose. You see, my brothers and sisters, things just don't happen, but God does allow things to happen according to his purpose. Can I borrow a skinny second and tell you about it? The children of Israel, Israel didn't know why they had to cross the Red Sea. But God had a purpose. Mm -hmm. Daniel didn't understand why God allowed him to go into the lion's den. Mm -hmm. But God had a purpose. Right. When Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego was thrown into the fiery furnace, God had a purpose. Right. Right. And sometimes on this Christian journey, we find ourselves asking, why this or why that? We must understand that God has a purpose. It is important to understand that God does not allow, God does not 
owe us an explanation. God do not owe us an explanation, but in his word, he will give us a revelation. And in this midst of all that we have going through, we have to realize that it's for our good. Whatever the situation, whatever the trial, whatever the problem may be, we have to realize it's for my good. And God has a purpose. Paul said he knew that all things, notice who he's talking to, the blood bought sons and daughters of God. Notice that, he, that, when, that he's talking about all things, not some things, but all things work together for our good. Because whatever the process is perfected, it's perfected in God. Because God has a purpose for you through sickness, through pain, through your ups and downs, through the good and the bad. God has a purpose. You must understand the purpose. Then he goes on to tell us that all things are according to his purpose. His purpose is to bring glory to the kingdom of God. So in other words, everything that we go through, we must realize that it's for a purpose. And we must understand that the purpose is so we can go back and give him the glory when we come through. When we come through the trials and tribulations, we must understand that it's not us, but it's him. So the purpose of us going through is to give him the glory, to give him the praise. Because only he can bring us through our trials and tribulations. Only he can make a way out of no way. Only he can show us that it still is his will. We got to lean and depend on nobody but Jesus. Because he has a purpose for our trials and our tribulations. If we maintain our faith and our trust in God, that is the purpose of our trials and tribulations. So we know right now we got to have the right perspective and that the trials are for a purpose. Will you handle your trials in life? Maintain the purpose that he's given you. Keep the process and program. Look at your neighbors one more time and tell them, keep the right purpose in your heart. Keep the right purpose in your heart. But not only do you have to have the right perspective and a purpose, but also we have to be connected to the power source. Connected to the right power source. In verse 31, Paul says, what shall I then say that what shall I then say that if, excuse me, what shall they say that if God be for you, then who can be against you? That's a powerful scripture right there. If God be for you, who can be against you? What can be against you? Because we're connected to the right power source. The fact that we have trials and tribulations does not mean that God is not with us. There's no situation God does not have the key to. There's no situation in our lives that God don't have the key to. If he allows us to have trials and tribulations, he already got the key. He already got the answer. He already know how he's going to bring us through. He already don't work it out because he allowed it to happen. Yes, sir. See, we don't hurt, we don't serve a God who don't know that we are going through. He already know we're going through. So he already don't figure it out. It's just a matter of us getting to what he promised us. 
getting to where we know that we need to stand. Had a right perspective in him. Everything that we go through has already been real prearranged, predestined. But if we stay connected to the power source, if we stay connected to his will, he won't let us fall. He'll be there to pick us up. Just imagine, he already know when we're going to fall. He already don't work it out. He can cover me, you, and the whole world in the moment, in the twinkling of an eye. Because he still has us in his hands. He's still working it out. Don't let the trials from last year hold you back to the trials of this year. Nine days into the new year, we still carrying over the leftover problems, the leftover situations. In my sanctified imagination, I can, can realize that the stuff I went through last year, I don't have to go through them this year. The situations that I brought from last year stops now. We're going to lay them down right now and worry about the new year. I guarantee you that he will bring you through. I guarantee you he already done worked it out. No matter, it's nothing too big or too little for our God. Nothing too big. When we start giving him the glory and realize that he is the source of our strength. He is the source of our help. He is the source of everything that we go through. He is. If God be with you, then you have everything you need. In sickness, you have a doctor in the sick room. In trouble, you have a lawyer in a courtroom. A company keeper in the lonely days. You have bread when you're hungry. You have water when you're thirsty. You have everything you need. When you have doubt, you have Jesus. When you have fear, you have Jesus. When you don't have a friend, you have a friend in Jesus. You can lean and depend on Jesus. He's always, always with us. Don't let your trials and tribulations hold you back. Don't let the trials and the problems that you face keep you from giving God the praise. Because he already worked it out. He already don't made a way. Already. Already don't made a way. You have the one who you can give all the praises to. As I hurried to my seat, I reminded of one particular person who kept the right perspective. He knew the purpose, and he was the power source. Our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. He had the right perspective. He knew the purpose. He was the power source. He is the power source. If you don't believe, believe me, look what he went through for us. He was dragged from judgment hall to judgment hall. Mistreated. Lied on. But he knew the right perspective. They accused him of everything, but he kept the right perspective. When he was on trial, he said nothing because he knew the promise. He knew the process. He knew he had to go through that we may be able to give him the glory. He knew that he had the right power source, that he was the power source. Look at his life. Look at everything he's done. 
Look at everything he did. Look at the stuff he's doing right now. He is the power source. Are you connected to the power source? If you are connected to the power source, you make sure that you keep the right perspective. You make sure you know the purpose. And you make sure that you are connected to the power source. Because he did it for us. One dark Friday, yeah. he went to the cross. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Because the perspective was that he go. Uh -huh. He went to the cross because he knew the purpose. One dark Friday, yes, sir. Yes, sir. he was connected to the power source. Right. One dark Friday, yeah. on a place called Carol, uh -huh. he gave up the ghost yeah. that we may be able to understand and to realize that we are still connected to the power source. Yeah. We understood the purpose that he had for us. We kept the right perspective. He died, yes, but he didn't stay dead. Yes, he got up with all power in his hand, yes, with all power. Yeah, yeah. And for that alone, we can get him going oh, yeah. because he kept the right perspective. He got up with all power in his hand. For that, we give him glory. Yeah. He got up with all power. For that, we give him praise. So I come to tell you this morning, to handle your trials and tribulations, keep the right perspective through it all. Know the purpose through it all. Keep connected to the power source through it all. And you will handle your life trials and tribulations. May God bless you. Thank you. 